Hey guys, Pete over here, Craigslist Hunter. Today's video is inspired by one of you guys. Actually, over the last few months, I had quite a few of these questions, and you guys are asking me. Well, I'm gonna pop the question here. The question was asked by Junk Food Rocks 2012. By the way, pretty cool name. Um, great video once again. Thanks for the entertainment and information. Have you ever thought about making a video? what you pick up and doesn't sell just wondering thanks again so it's a great question we all pick up stuff that will sit forever doesn't sell we have to do something with that inventory there's no question about it you know nobody's perfect we don't know everything you make mistakes um, here I'm gonna show you guys how I get rid of some of my dead inventory stuff that I maybe picked up at the uh, drift store, garage sale, my guys picked it up in a shop or I even picked it up in a shop. Not everything sells. Um, probably about three to four times a year I do this and I just unload the inventory on eBay. Stuff that it's been sitting, everything that you guys are gonna see here, it's been sitting for more than six months, most of them up to a year. So in that range, six months to a year and it's time to get rid of it get your money back and move on uh, and perhaps never buy this stuff again that's a learning experience so let's do it let's dive into this um, you will be asking I know you guys will be asking questions and I'll go into this in detail what's up with the shipping on some of these items all these items that you guys are gonna see have been sold in September uh, and all of them are in auction format starting at 99 cents uh, but there will be some weird shippings on some of the items and I will explain why so let's get into this oh looks like some rain is coming in I gotta move in inside a little bit hold on guys all right guys so let's do this i got about 35 items here i actually had more in september that sold on auction but these are the items that i needed to clear out um so far it's september 25th we sold like 270 items on average i sell about 300 items uh 35 of these are auction format sold because they need to go and there was probably another 25 to 30 items done on auction this month as well but they were done on purpose for the auction so let's go over these this is the first one all right guys here's the first item these are made in italy fins uh by decor picked them up at the garage sale over a year ago yes previous summer i picked them up they set for the year I thought they would sell maybe in spring they didn't the whole summer went by no interest had them listed for like 40 bucks then 35 25 20 no bites whatsoever finally it was time to let them go list them for 99 cents on auction let it rip right but you notice here that the shipping is 24.95 and the reason for this i pay i bought these at the garage sale for five bucks okay <sighs> The shipping on these would be probably between 15 to 20 dollars for me to ship them i mean they're big bulky but they're very light but still anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars i put the shipping for 24.95 basically to cover my cost of purchasing this item so yes an ebay will charge you final value fees on your shipping as well but doesn't matter i'm getting my money back so this one sold for 99 cents out the door got my money back here we got a um, reflected light meter made in Germany. This actually came in a big lot that we got a lot of different, you know, kind of vintage uh, camera equipment. And we decided to throw it on eBay, set on eBay for half a year with no bites whatsoever. It was listed for like $14.99 or something like that. Then we dropped it to $9.99, no bites. Finally, on auction, 99 cents, two bids sold for dollar 25 with 1295 shipping now we probably had hardly anything in this item because it came in a lot maybe i had a buck or two in it that's about it uh, you see the shipping again 1295 that's to cover that expense that item can probably fit in a flat rate envelope uh, for six bucks and it's out the door 
so we made a couple bucks but it's out of here now this next item I sell a lot of vices and I usually do very good on vintage vices this was a small vice nothing big maybe about you know this size uh, but it turns out that there's not that many people interested in Denlop swivel vices this one was a little bit rough but still in great working order uh, we bought this in a shop we paid either five or ten bucks for it set forever again over six months did not sell throw it on the auction 99 cents three bids brought four dollars and 25 cents with 1595 shipping um, this was relatively small it, it I think it did fit like an original a if not original B so the shipping was about 10 bucks again 1595 shipping so you guys can obviously see here what am I doing here with the shipping it covers some of the cost of the item so let's go to the next one now this item I don't know why I even bought it I bought it for 99 cents at Goodwill Dymo it's like a label marker metallic blue color came with one cartridge it's set for a year okay with no interest we had it listed for like you know 12.99 or 11.99 just set forever so again 99 cents two bids sold for dollar 25 with 7.90 shipping fits in a padded envelope out the door got the money back <sighs> these shoes right here they were actually brand new shoes that we bought them in a shop somebody brought them into the shop and uh, I think we paid like 10 bucks for him. Again, we had him listed, I think, for like $29.99 or $24.99. Set forever, over six months, did not sell. Let's get him out of here. Auction, three bids, $2.25 with $13.95 shipping. Just basically getting our money back out the door. This next item right here, I usually do very, very well with my knives. For some reason, this one was in such a rough condition, we couldn't get it almost for nothing. I think it's set for over six months. We had it priced at the lowest at like $9.99 or $12.99, and there was no no interest at it whatsoever. I think we originally started at like $50 or $60 on this knife. Um, it's a vintage World War II combat trench knife. Um, 99 cents again created five bids sold for 550 with 1390 shipping this is a knife that i think we actually paid like 15 or maybe even 20 dollars so i even didn't get my money back on this one just some of it sometimes you just gotta move that inventory out and move on even if it costs you a few dollars all right this this next item i will definitely not buy again we had this thing forever over a year i think it said and said and said we had it listed and we paid like peanuts we paid like two or three dollars for this item um it's a vintage junior postman like a little hat a cap um finally throw it out on uh on an auction 99 cents again guys uh 990 shipping which covered the expense of the item and the shipping get it out of here all right, here we got 2001 Racing Champions diecast. It's like a metal plow, little, you know, one one and sixteenth of a scale. Um, came into the shop. We paid like five or ten dollars for it. It's set, set. Couldn't get rid of it for nothing. So finally, uh, again, auction, 99 cents. Created one bid, but you notice here the shipping is actually substantial, 19.95. So. Uh, this was a good size box and it pretty much covered the shipping and the money that we had in it out the door it's gone all right here we have a vintage ladies bulava watch uh, 10 carat now it's it's gold plate okay so it's not solid gold um, I had this thing probably over a year no bites we bought it for like five bucks um, wasn't running it was overall in beat up shape 
definitely not gonna pick up anything like this again it's just not worth your time you know we had it originally lifted for like listed for like 50 bucks then you know 30 20 it just sat and sat and said so again created three bids from 99 cents to three dollars 25 cents the shipping was again a little bit substantial 14.95 i mean this thing is super light and you can put it in a small package um you know what I've been doing this for a long time nobody ever really complained that the shipping is higher on some of these items um, so it works as long as nobody is you know complaining I'm gonna keep doing it at least I'm getting my money back from some of these items so the risk is at 99 cents sometimes they will sell for 99 cents uh, especially on an item who had completely zero interest over the last you know year or so um, this one actually created three bids at 325 with the shipping of 1495 sold out the door now here is a very interesting item and once in a while guys you will get a surprise um, had this for over six months we bought it in a shop I I personally bought it I paid ten dollars for it had it on eBay for 50 bucks then we had it for like 44 40 39 you know it was there for a while but no interest it was in spectacular condition too everything worked on it great um, it's a DBX model 128 it's a wrench enhancer noise reduction system unit uh, it's vintage could not sell it for nothing and there were other items that were selling right in that range from 40 to 50 bucks mine wouldn't sell well here's a <coughs> excuse me here's a very nice surprise we throw it on the auction and it got up to 81 bucks with 17 bids so sometimes you will win too it will go for more money you know only takes two people that really want that item in this case it was 17 bids so there was definitely you know some interest on this and it went for for good money this wasn't a big unit probably a size of a laptop about this thickness um, 14.95 shipping sold for 81 bucks so sometimes you just win uh, here's another item this is actually a very small amp it looks in a picture that it's big but it's small the amp is probably about this size uh, it's 15.1 guitar amp spider 3 uh, by line 6 sold with seven bits for 12.95 i think we paid like 15 dollars for this unit when it came to the shop maybe even 20 maybe 20 um, we threw 29.90 shipping sold sold for 12.50 with seven bits got our money back out the door here's a very cool item and another surprise again uh, one of my guys bought this at the shop about a half a year ago and right before this fishing season started now this is not really great reel but it's a very collectible reel from Daiwa uh, it's an older one it's from probably early 80s um, I had this on eBay first for like 49.95 then we dropped it to 40 30 and it would not move I threw it on the auction look what happened 11 bids sold for $52 with $10 shipping so another great example that sometimes you never know you will win at some of these auction it went for more money than I originally was asking for it here we have again another knife I sell quite a few knives I most of the time I sell them in a shop but once in a while especially if we have doubles or duplicates you know similar knives we'll throw them at the auction this one we paid 10 bucks for it um, and it's set again forever this was online for over a year I think for like $40 or $45 it would not move and look what happened I guess it only took a couple people that really wanted 42 bids sold for $66 with $14.95 shipping this was probably about 13 14 inches long you know goofy looking dagger uh, you never know you just never know very interesting item over here I like to sell a lot of this stuff but this one was rough I mean really really rough we paid $25 when it came into the shop and it's set for over six months as you can see it here on the picture the front of the truck is pretty beat up and rusty um, you know Tonka toys 
the vintage one from 50s and 60s they sell really really good and I think we had priced this one right around 100 bucks maybe even 120 at one point and we slowly dropped it and it would not move so we threw it on the auction 21 bids brought 71 dollars with 23.95 shipping i'm happy with that now this is an item that i used to sell a lot and for some reason lately market is saturated those things don't sell anymore these are vintage like set of three reflectors um, i bought it at the garage sale for three dollars and it would not move normally you can sell these for about 20 to 30 dollars depending on a condition and it would not move so we throw it on the auction one bed sold for 99 cents with 12.90 shipping it's a very small box metal box fits in a original a box no problem to ship it out and it's gone got my money back i will never buy this again now i sell quite a few of these test indicators from different brands um, this one for some reason we bought the whole lot of 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 these indicators of the guy and, and it would not sell over six months just sat there uh, and we had it priced at really good you know this was it actually went for more money than we originally wanted we wanted like 39 dollars sold for 57 bucks 42 bids with 12.90 shipping tiny little box maybe a little bit bigger than a cell phone you know bigger than a smartphone um, so you never know you just never know now I don't sell a lot of golf clubs but here and there if something is decent I'll pick it up we'll throw it online this thing we had it for over a year okay it said and said and said I thought of beginning of the season and spring that is gonna be some interest uh, and I had this price at $149 then on like 130 120 I think we got it as low as 100 bucks it would not move um, so I took a risk threw it on, on, on auction again 99 cents 14.95 shipping look at the buzz it created 38 bids and sold for 180.50 uh, and most of them were in that range when they were selling buy it now like between 120 to 150 dollars look at this sucker it brought 180 bucks so great example again you never know I'll probably I probably never buy it again here we have um, clarinet um, sometimes I do really really good with clarinets and, and in general with musical instruments we do pretty good but this one for some reason would not move um, and I think it was priced around 70 or 80 bucks set there for about good seven eight months finally again auction 17 bids 14.95 59 dollars i believe that one we paid 30 bucks when it came into the shop so made some good money on that one another indicator uh from the same lot that we bought a bunch of them from the guy once again set forever um 16 bids sold for 32 dollars and i think we had this price like at that price 30 or 40 dollars and it would not move but on the auction it brought 32 dollars and 10 cents with 12.90 shipping now here's an interesting item actually i i believe adrian bought this and for some reason we thought it was going to go for really really good money very unique um item it's 81 pieces of gauge black sets grade b uh, but this was unknown manufacturer on this so maybe that was the problem that nobody would buy it we had this forever over a year um, paid like $20 I think he paid 20 maybe 25 bucks for it shipping $14.95 on this unit it wasn't that big size of a laptop again the box was about this thick but it sold for 61 bucks with 13 bids you know and it just tells you again that you never know sometimes these auctions uh, will bail you out you know will bring the money back here's an item that also set for over a year a uh, lot of 25 Star Wars Comtech chips they're tiny they're probably about this size um, 25 of them we had them forever they're not big money maker i'll definitely not buy them again because there's just no interest in them we threw it at 99 cents and we did get only one bid 
990 shipping. I don't even remember how much we paid for these. I have no idea. This is actually a drill by Makita. Um, it's a drywall screwdriver. It's not like super vintage, but it's an older one. A lot of guys like the older Makita equipment. You know what? I saw, I, I bought this and I paid 10 bucks for it. And I thought it was going to be a great flip because generally with Makita stuff, we do very well. This one again set for six months and I think at like 49.95, then 39 and it would not sell. So throw it on the auction, five bids, sold for $6, 14.95, got the most money back. That's how it goes. Now here, again, very nice surprise, okay? Uh, this is Mark 3680. It's like a playset, Apache playset, vintage, excuse me box was super rough and I mean super rough we had it forever at least a year it would not sell it was priced around hundred dollars then 80 60 50 it would not move we paid twenty dollars for this box um, and look what happened on the auction again 19 bids 67.95 with 22.95 shipping so it was actually turned out to be a great flip all right, you're gonna see two sets of these. I picked them up at the garage set. Both sets, I got them for 10 bucks. I remember this like it was yesterday. I bought it in spring, set on eBay for half a year, both sets, we could not move them. Um, this one we threw it on, and they were brand new, sealed, not sealed, but they were brand new, never installed, never used speakers. So, throw it on auction, five bits, sold for $36 with $20 shipping. We made some good money on that one. And here's another set of the same company. Like I said, I picked them up both at the same time from the same garage for 10 bucks, so $5 each. Uh, this one we threw it at 99 cents again, eight bits, sold only for 13.50 with 69, uh, I mean 16.95 shipping. So we made decent money on it. This you guys probably seen in one of my videos. If you're gonna go way back, probably a year, at least a year. Um, I picked these up for 10 bucks, okay, and you can see it on the video when I picked them up All these posters were framed the frames were kind of crappy uh, It had like a plexiglass in front of them, but they were still very very interesting Mad Max movie posters You know from back in the day they were big 27 by 41 and we could not get rid of them I thought we were gonna make a killing on these when I bought them for $10 and they just wouldn't move. Um, so finally, threw it out on the auction again, 99 cents, four bids, they only brought $15, but look at the shipping I did on it. I wanted to cover, excuse, I wanted to cover my ass on this because they were really, really big and required a big box. Um, shipping was 55 bucks, actually it went, I wanna say it went to New York um, and it cost us like 27 or 28 bucks to ship it so I made some money a little bit on shipping here and of course $15 for the bids I will never buy these again obviously they don't move I thought you know Mad Max stuff was hot and people wanted to stick it maybe in their man cave and did not happen this is one of those items that I will definitely not buy again it just doesn't have a following it's it's like all-in-one theater system um, 5.1 channel DVD receiver made by Motorola Motorola never made any good audio equipment we bought this in a shop I don't remember how much we paid for it probably 15 maybe $20 um, horrible pickup I will never buy it again 8 bits sold for 1250 with 29.95 shipping interesting item here i actually paid up for this when it originally came to the shop i paid 50 dollars from the for this this is my local guy that i deal with it all the time um this is one of those units that you can clean your jewelry in it um it's a model 50-26446 when you look them up it's an ultrasonic corporation they usually go for very good money um 
and I could not move this. I had it priced first around 150, then I had it priced I think at like 120, 99, even at I think like 74, 95, would not move. We had this almost for a year, and look what happened. I throw it on the auction, 24 bids, $150 with 29.95 shipping. It wasn't big, it was probably about uh, this size about this high but very very heavy unit so I will buy these again you know they obviously it did generate a lot of interest 24 bids but it, it took a while here's an interesting item this is a bag that we picked up a while ago bag of different watches for like peanuts maybe five dollars or something in the shop um, would not sell I think we had it priced for like 30 or 40 dollars it said it just sat there forever Throw it on the auction, 17 bids sold for $26 with $9.95 shipping. Can't go wrong, so you never know. Here we have an item that I thought it would bring actually pretty, pretty good money. Uh, got it about half a year. You could see this on one of my videos from about half a year. I picked up a bunch of these musician equipment from a guy. It's set. I mean, and I had it priced as cheap as, as like $19.95, I think. But look what happened. 13 bids sold for $28 with $18.95 shipping. With these vintage electronics for musicians or DJs, it's kind of hit and miss. You got to be really careful. Now, this one even had the original manual to go with it. And uh, it still took forever. So, But we got the money back. Now here's an item that I normally pick up all the time and I have no problem selling it on Buy It Now and most of the time brings good money. For some reason, this particular item would not move. Um, had to throw it on auction. We had it first for like 50 bucks, then 30 bucks and it would just not sell. So it was time to get rid of it. Brought 2150 with 5 bits with 1695 shipping. We we probably paid maybe 10 bucks for it so we still made okay but i don't know what was wrong with it it was in great condition overall and it wouldn't sell i sell a lot of vintage you know especially coleman lanterns or sears lanterns and they go usually pretty good not this one gosh i gotta keep changing iso on this camera all the time now all of a sudden we have some storms going through and gets cloudy now the sun came out again so i gotta keep playing with this but uh hopefully it's all good so this next item right here it's a vintage coca-cola like a tank like a syrup tank that they used back in the day um it did had a hole at the bottom it was rusted out but it was still still a cool vintage piece we bought it probably about half a year ago for 10 bucks took a chance on it could not get rid of it for nothing i mean really it was a good size too it was probably about 24 inches high and about you know 10 inches in diameter um, threw it on auction sold for only 99 cents i will never buy this again um, there were not many on ebay period when we purchased this so one of those items i guess even the coca-cola collectors really don't want uh, we had 29.95 shipping on it out the door gone this I don't even know why we bought it one of the guys bought it in a shop thought it was really cool um, had it for over a year would not move one bid 99 cents with 17.95 shipping it wasn't a big horse probably about you know 10 12 inches high um, I don't even know how much we paid for it I don't think much maybe five ten bucks out the door gone now these wooden pulleys right here, I sell these quite often actually. Um, most of the time they're good sellers. You can easy, usually get you know anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars out of them. And I bought quite a few. I bought like a lot of different you know stuff from a barn. And I think there was like two or three different pulleys. Could not get rid of it for some reason it would not move so we threw it on the auction again it had a beautiful patina you know eight bids 1383 with 1695 shipping uh, probably had about five bucks in it that's about it so we made a few dollars on it 
and guys I think this is gonna be a last one uh, this was a nice surprise too this was actually when I showed you guys that lot of watches that we bought for like five bucks and we just threw it out there this was part of the lot um, this watch we took it out and I was trying to sell it separately because the the butcherer I think that's how you call this watch uh, usually brings pretty decent money and um, the band to the watch was not original that's for sure um, but it was still in full working order the watch runs great and I had it on eBay first for like $99 then we had it for like 70 50 and would not move finally decided to throw it on auction look created a big buzz 20 bids 69.59 and sold for with not 990 shipping so it was a great surprise so this was the last item that I showed you guys so I thought you learned something from this how I get rid of my inventory that it's been sitting for a long time and it just becomes stagnant and there's no interest in it and also it's a great learning experience what not to buy in the future if you know you had something for a year it's a hard mover right you're not gonna buy it again you're not gonna spend you know even if it's just few dollars you're just not gonna spend money on it it's not worth your time yes there were a few surprises here that actually on auction brought some money um, but most of the time on buy it now these items set for over six months to a year so I hope you guys enjoyed the video it was a little bit different I meant to make this kind of video already for a while because there was quite a few questions you know if I can show some inventory that I would not recommend buying it uh, probably half of the stuff that you see in here I will not buy it again Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do for more great content. And uh, till next time, cheers.